Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So I wanted to make this video to show before and afters of Blake Horton, who is widely known as Blake201 on Instagram. And he is becoming quite a very well-known famous person for his extreme diet, which he calls the Blake Diet, where you eat around one meal a day and fast for around 23 hours a day and then eat for around a two hour window, normally at midnight. And he has started to become more widely known due to being featured on Dr. Oz's show, where he fully interviewed Blake Horton on the Dr. Oz show. And it's really, really good because it's really getting the intermittent fasting message out there. So I was really, really happy to see this. So I wanna show you some before photos and after photos that took me a long time to find of Blake Horton with his transformation to show other people that you can eat an abundance of calories without calorie restricting and eat a lot of your favorite foods. So now let's get on to showing you some before and after photos. So as you can see in this one, he on the left, he's got a lot of body fat. You obviously can't see his old body, but you can still get quite a clear picture on how he looks. And then he is there on the right after doing his Blake diet for quite some time. And as you can see, he's about to feast on some huge, huge nacho dish that's around 4,000 calories covered in sour cream and guacamole and cheese and all of those other good yummy things that a lot of people are into. And as you can see, his physique has definitely got a way lower body fat percentage. So there's a huge difference there. And here is another photo of him as you can see again, with more body fat for sure, definitely not a low body fat percentage, around 29 years old there. And then on his 36th birthday on the right, where he looks like he's got quite a nice muscular physique, which a lot of people his age would really, really like to have for obvious reasons. And then if we move on to the other photo, is him with his different driver's license for different years. And as you see in 2007, he looks quite lean. And then in 2011, he had started to obviously gain, leading up to that point, a lot more body fat. And then in 2015, you can see he's slimmed down more. He doesn't necessarily look as thin as he did in 2007, but he looks like a very, very healthy weight in my opinion, more of a healthy weight than in comparison to 2007. And then here's another photo. We've already seen the photo on the right with the nachos, but it's a different photo on the left. And as you can see, there's a significant difference between his physique when he's 29 and 35 years old again. And yeah, he's definitely even looking younger to me as well and just healthier overall. And a lot of people would believe that eating the way that he eats is really not gonna be good for you and that will actually make you gain weight. And here's another video, well, photo should I even say, to show what his physique currently looks like. And he's got a huge, huge pizza there that he's made that's celebrating 40,000 Instagram followers at the time of when he got that. So now what we're gonna do is just take a little look through his Instagram. And I'm gonna put a link down below for his Instagram in case you're interested in looking at it. So yeah, he's got quite a lot of followers, 362,000. He's been intermittent fasting for five years plus, lost around 60 pounds of weight eating this way as well. And like it says, epic, unhealthy looking healthy meals. <laughs> which is really, really cool. And yeah, let's have a look down here. So yeah, as you can see, he's eating like all these different hot dogs and he's got ribs and he's got like sort of chili cheese fries going on there. And he's about to chow down on that all. It says it's around 4,400 calories with 950 grams of protein, 130 grams of fat and 661 calories of carbs. So yes, he does eat a lot of carbohydrates and carbs do not make you fat. I'm someone that eats a very high carbohydrate as well and I am very, very lean and shredded, if you want to call it that. So it's a myth, carbs don't make you fat at all. At least from my own personal experience, especially when you're combining it with intermittent fasting where it's two meals a day or one meal a day like Blake does here. And then a huge lasagna pizza with three pounds of salad. He normally adds a lot of vegetables or and salad to his food. 
and he loves to make it very, very fun. Here he's got 40 pancakes with eggs and pancakes, around 4,300 calories. Again, around 675 grams of carbs. And that's a funny little photo that he's got there of him dressed up, about to eat a pizza, which is really funny. Um, we have a little bit of glitch there, but that's all good. So yeah, as you can see here, as we're flicking through, he's eating all types of like pizzas and donuts and baguettes and all of these other so-called unhealthy foods that will make you fat. But as he's proven, and a lot of the people that he's coached, for example here, some of his success stories, Kathy lost over 50 pounds of weight eating this way. This person lost around 77 pounds of weight. This one, 102 pounds of weight and 80 pounds of weight. And the reason being is when you reduce your meal frequency, it is dropping insulin significantly, which insulin is a fat storage hormone. It's improving insulin sensitivity. And it's also getting your body to make human growth hormones skyrocket and testosterone, and also a hormone known as glucagon. Glucagon suppresses your appetite, and it starts putting your body into fat burning mode. So when you're in that fasting state, your body's burning its only fat as fuel. And that boost in testosterone and human growth hormone reduces your body fat percentage whilst increasing your muscle mass and reducing your water retention as well. So yeah, if you want to really eat unhealthy, I don't necessarily eat this way, but if you feel drawn to it, you can still indulge on these foods. And like he says here in this one, some people sacrifice carbs, even if it means only losing temporary water weight, just eat it. And like it says here, the human body holds a few grams of water for every gram of carbs consumed. Carbohydrates equal hydrates, which is why when you start a new fad diet, which drastically cuts carbs, you shed water weight like crazy, think it's fat, and then go tell everyone how many pounds you've lost. Pounds of what though? In order to lose seven pounds of fat in a week, you'd have to maintain a 24,500 calorie deficit. For most people, that would mean consuming no food or drink for an entire week or working out rigorously every day. And guess what? As soon as you carb up again, you're gaining back all the water weight you just lost seemingly overnight. Cutting carbs is a quick water trick fix if you want to fit into that dress this weekend. Miss Fancy or Mr. So-called Tough Guy. And you can preach about insulin or ketosis all you want, but calories will always control body weight. If you want to do the Blake diet and keto, that's cool. How I've noticed most people quit keto after taking my course. So it's really, really good to see that. And I didn't actually know that was coming up. So yeah, if you have any comments that you would like to leave down below, in relation to anything in this video, leave them down below. If you like the video, like down below, give us a thumbs up. If you don't, give us a thumbs down, I don't mind. And please share this video with other people that may want to hear about what I shared you today in relation to Blake's transformation, which has been really, really good results from what he is doing. And also put a link down below for his Instagram and his website in case you're interested in that and his YouTube channel. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go get those gains. Peace.